I've been trying to go faster than two minutes at Button Willow Raceway for about a year now. So I wanted to share what it's like to actually push a base model 2019 Tesla Model 3 on the track. Take a guess how many laps the Tesla can do in the comments below. One of the nice things about Teslas is they already collect a ton of telemetry, which you can easily access using a Bluetooth dongle and an app like Scan My Tesla. One thing I added was the overheat meter in the bottom left, which I developed myself based on my track telemetry. It predicts how much torque the motor should be making at the current speed and battery charge, and compares it to how much it actually is making. And right out of the gate, the car is holding back power. The motor internals like the stator are cooled by oil, but the car is barely even running the oil pump until halfway through the front straight. Button Willow Raceway has a supercharger in the paddock, so I'm starting this session on a full charge, but already elevated motor temperatures. On the second straight, we get another hard cut of power, literally on the first lap of the session. You can see the battery voltage rises halfway down the straight. The slope of the stator temperature graph is oddly linear too, as if the car doesn't want to heat too fast, even if it's currently below the maximum temperature. Through the maximum speed sections, the car is able to keep the stator around 100 degrees Celsius. It's actually kind of suspicious how little the temperature is changing, which might be an indication of how Tesla manages these thermal limits. Actually, above 100 miles per hour, the car is holding up fine. My single motor SR Plus model makes less power the faster it goes, so at high speeds, the car isn't really burning enough energy to overheat, or at least not to exceed the maximum limits. Accelerating out of Phil Hill though, we do draw enough power to be restricted again. This is on track to be my fastest lap ever, so let's see if the Tesla can hold it together. It's not looking good though. Keep in mind that this is the base model, the SR Plus, so it doesn't come with track mode, which has cooling overclock. We're starting the final straight at 110 degrees Celsius and max out the temperature just as we cross the finish line. Four tenths of a second away from two minutes. I'll use this next lap to cool down and then make another attempt. At the end of the cooldown lap, the stator has gone back down to 70 degrees Celsius, but everything else on the car is still climbing. Again, this is just a model I made based on observed performance, but we're still at 66% battery, so we should be able to do another good lap. And this is kind of the tragedy of the Tesla. Even after a cooldown lap, the car isn't performing much better. I want to point out the slope of this stator temp graph again. This pattern looks really artificial, as if the stator is allowed to heat at a certain rate for a short time, and then it switches over to a lower long-term rate. This time we're starting the high-speed section at 115 degrees Celsius, which is bad, and we're really suffering for it. The car is happy to play around 100 miles an hour for now, but that'll change. One tip I've found so far is to take the car off the supercharger before the session starts, and plug it into a normal slow charger. The car uses the motor to preheat the battery while supercharging, but not while slow charging. And the oil pump will still run at a low rate to bring down the motor temperature. As we tap 120 degrees Celsius, we get another hard cut and voltage climb. We really should be able to maintain more than 160 kilowatts through here. On the straight out of the sweeper, the car seems to notice, finally, that it's overheating and increases the oil flow to draw out more heat. 
We're making less than 150 kilowatts now, which is only 200 horsepower. On the final straight, the car refuses to let the stator temp climb at all. So this may be some special overheat mode to force cool the motor. This is about one second slower than my previous fast lap. So the answer was less than one lap around Button Willow before overheating. These runs were all done using the Mountain Pass Performance Cooling Box, which does a good job cooling the battery and coolant, but isn't able to control the motor temperatures. Also, this SR Plus is running the Nginx Boost module, so it's making a bit more power than a stock car would, and it all has to come from the single rear motor. For the future, I'll be looking into aftermarket cooling solutions, since this is like the third time I've missed sub 2 by fractions of a second while hitting these restrictions. I also have an NC Miata, which I bought partially because of the overheating and lack of chargers near tracks. But it hasn't really replaced the Tesla, since the handling and the smooth power delivery make this car an absolute pleasure to drive fast. Hopefully you found this video interesting, and thanks for watching!